Hey everybody, welcome to Civil Gear. Today I'm talking about Nikkor's new MT-06 MD Penlight. I'll be going over the user interface and some uh, very unique features of this light that set it apart from uh, the other competition out there and set it apart from the previous MT-06. Um, for a full review, check out my WordPress blog at civilgear.wordpress.com. All right, so just taking a quick look at the light, we've got a head connection here, and then the body, the battery tube, and then the switch here at the end. The user interface uses a single button operation, and it's just a single click, and it has um, a half press as well. But um, from off, you just give it a single full push, and it turns on into a low mode, which is four lumens. And you give it a little half press, and it uh, escalates the light to the mid mode, which is 45 lumens, and give it a half, half tap again, and that goes into the high, which is 180 lumens. To turn off the light, you simply, at any time, click the light off. And if you wait, I think, three seconds or more, it'll turn back on at low. But you can advance the light as well by doing full presses, but a little more quickly. So you could do, to go to the next one, and then that's high, go back down to low, and so forth. Um, since it's a pretty simple system, you can actually use the bezel connection as well. If you loosen and tighten it kind of quickly, it'll cycle through the modes as well. Suffice it to say, there is no hidden modes, so it's pretty straightforward, just three levels. Um, I'm not sure who would need a strobe or anything like that for a simple pen light, and as this is geared for doctors, I don't think they wanted to um, have any of those pop up on them while they're looking in patient's eyes and stuff. So just regular primary um, outputs. All right, so let's show you the light a little bit. I'll do some beam shots on my tabletop. That's the four lumens, which is pretty great for um, examining pupils. And the mid, 45 lumens. Great for close-ups of like ears and scalp. And the high mode which is great for um, like checking out throats and other things. So it's a pretty good um, beam pattern. I think it's fairly soft. I like the, the Corona. It's nice and smooth. There's nothing too hardly defined. The, the spill is kind of further out here, which has a little bit bright edge to it. So it's kind of something to keep in mind. There also seems to be something goofy with my light. Uh, I don't know if this is same with all of the lights, but you can um, cycle through the lights and you can kind of hold down the cap to wait for the next mode. And if you wait the right amount of time, do you see that? It will flash bright, bright before it goes back down to low. So that's something to keep in mind if you're cycling with the light. Uh, it's just best to tap the button quick and it'll go through. All right, so let's just deconstruct the light so you can see all the pieces. We have the head and we have the body and we've got the tail here. So the head screws off this way, contains the LED and the smooth reflector, has reverse polarity protection for the AAA batteries. And the battery too has these nicely anodized threads and it has an O-ring for water protection. It's IPX8 certified uh, for two or one and a half meters submersible and the clicky switch here kind of comes off in two pieces there's this little outer ring for the cap the kind of the decorative stainless steel cap and then it has a little rubber boot which kind of keeps the button above the switch because the switch is just tight little click And then this ring comes off as well between the end and the clip. Uh, I think at first this was really tight. I think they put some thread lock material in here. You can see it there. It's kind of a red. There it is. So if at first you don't succeed, try and try. There's another O-ring in there for water protection and a spring connection uh, all the way through. Regarding the switch cover, has this decorative stainless steel cap with the rubber boot underneath, so it kind of makes it bounce and keeps it 
above the switch. I found that it was there was too much kind of wiggle in here, so I actually just added a little bit of uh, tissue and kind of packed it in there so it was a little bit tighter so there wasn't too much range of motion. So in regards to the pocket clip, it looks pretty cool, but the stainless steel that it's made out of isn't as resilient as I hoped it would be. It tends to deform if it gets snagged on your pocket when you pull it out. Um, it's kind of goofy and it's hard to push back by itself. Um, but luckily you can take off this ring and bend it back and then replace it and you're good to go again. Uh, or you could just take the whole clip off and go without if you decide. Uh, it would have been nice to have the stainless steel uh, titanium plated clips that Nikkor tends to use with their lights. So I think a lot of people were hoping for that change in this light, but it still has the original clip. Also regards to the body construction, the finish has a hard anodizing uh, three, so that's really great for these flashlights. Always dropping them and they're very scratch resistant. The machine finish on the outside feels funny at first. has kind of a ridge to it. So I was like wondering at first why it was like that, but it might actually provide a little bit extra grip, especially when you're using uh, examination gloves or nitrite gloves or something. Um, so it's nice to have a smooth body, but um, it would have been nice to have a little extra knurling on here. It might have been a little bit trickier to wash or sterilize. Um, but I think something towards the end, while you're holding it with a finger and a thumb, would have been nice, at least around just the end, uh, to have a firmer grip. All right, so overall, I'm really impressed with this light. The addition of the new Nisha 219B LED is a great move for this um, form factor. Um, the color rendering is uh, just something the market's really looking for, and is only like kind of now coming in. I know it's been around for a while, but affordability uh, for a pen light, to, I think this is under this is like 30 US dollars. Um, it's great to have that option, and it works great with the 5000K um, color temperature. And also the four lumen level output, I've been really looking for a light to uh, check pupils. And in case my kids fall down and hit their heads, I just want to be able to check real quick and see if the, I need to take them to the doctor, to the hospital. Um, so I'm really excited to add this to my bag uh, for those uses. Alright, that's my review of Nikkor's MT06 MD pen light. Uh, thank you to Nikkor for providing that to me for review. Uh, feel free to stick around my YouTube channel and browse um, my other flashlight reviews. I've also got some other uh, product reviews here. And for a full review of the pen light and close-up pictures and more descriptions, head on over to my WordPress blog at silvergear.wordpress.com. And uh, if I missed anything, leave a comment below, and I'll get to you as soon as I can. See you next time.